now we have to play to be successful. You know, to get up big, we just now got to find a way to sustain it. And um, you know, this uh, usually when you get up big like that in our in our, in our league, teams are always going to make runs. It's how you respond to those runs. And, and I thought that you know we responded in a very selfish way. Everyone trying to say oh, I'm going to do it myself, and rather we got up 20 by playing you know team basketball and doing it the right way, and we, and we went away from that. Capable of what we're doing, um, but then you can, you know, when you when you start playing more individual, not letting the system take over, you know, then what ends up happening, then everything becomes pressurized. You start missing free throws. Yeah, I mean, we can't, you can't. I mean, we can't have starters. You know, we have two of our starters go eight for nineteen. You know, you're not going to beat anyone in the league when you don't, if you can't make free throws like that. Because what happens is, is that when you're up, that gives a team that's behind, it gives them. You know, a little bit of you know enthusiasm, momentum, and that's what you know. We start missing free throws. We start turning the ball over. We had some bad turnovers on break situations, and um, uh, you know, so I mean, it's you know that's the thing that was disappointing, extremely disappointing. It's difficult, but it's I mean, it's something they have to do. Either they have to do it, or you have to play other people that you know that aren't going to break all those habits. Well, I think we got to the, I think at the end, I don't, it's a fine line. Is it trust or is it that, you know, you think that I can make a play to turn it up, to get us going again, and you try to do it individually. And in our league, you can't do it unless you're, unless you're one of the elite players. We don't have anyone that's at that elite status right now, like a Darren Williams, that can just take the game over, whether he's scoring, passing, setting people up. I mean, he felt, you know, he was there. He was like the conductor. He felt like he had control and tempo of the game. Even when, when we were behind, I told the guys, we were behind, we were up 20. I said, they missed a lot of open, some open shots. You know, now, I thought we had great energy defensively, whether it's not, we're not in shape, but I thought that the second half in the third quarter and part of the fourth, we didn't have that same defensive energy. You know, we, and, you know I mean, Humphreys hasn't, he's been, you know, sitting in New York City, wherever he's been, you know, and he comes in and gets 16 rebounds and 23 points. You know, that can't happen. You know, that really can't happen. Yeah, they just, you know, they had a lot of long, long shots, long rebounds. Like I said, I don't know if it, I've got to look at the film more. Javel had about six rebounds, got knocked out of his hands. I mean, you know, knocked out of his hands. You know, we've got to, you know, that's something we worked on a lot, but we didn't do a good job tonight. I, you know, I'll have to look at film and see, you know, where they came from. You know, James hurt us a lot in the glass. He had 14. So, you know, small forward that goes out and gets that kind of rebounds, that's going to hurt you. I mean, John's going to be, but he's not, you know, Darren Williams wasn't a league player his second year in the league. You know, it's a, it's a process that you go through, and John's going through as far as that process. And I think that, you know, John, what he wants to do is at times, you know, so he tries to do too much at times, you know, because he feels that he can take the game over. He, he got to the hole a lot, but it just he just couldn't finish at that end, you know. He got uh, off balance a couple times, and uh, even he had a few times where he had – Possible three-point plays, and he just tonight was a night where the ball just wouldn't, uh, you know, wouldn't roll in for him. Well, we just changed up people to give Darren different looks. I thought at times he was okay, and at times he was, he was chasing him. You know, but you know, to guard Darren Williams, the people that have to guard him is the is your bigs, because they they run a pick and roll just about every time, and your big has to be in a help situation. And I thought. Uh, you know, I thought early Dre did a good job. I thought, you know, late the only guy that really did, you know, was positive was Ronnie. You know, Ronnie had the best. You know, Ronnie was like a plus 14 when he was on the floor tonight. You know, and uh, and he did some positive things. Yeah, well, he's not the odd man out. It's just that he's he's only had you know two practices and and. Uh, you know, if anyone that has seen what's happened with some of in the basketball with some of the people and in football, you know, when guys don't have a full training camp, you get a lot of injuries. You know, what we don't want to do is similar to what happened to them. Sometimes when you're not fully in, in game shape, freak accidents happen. You know, you're not moving quite as quick and you slide and, all, and things happen. So we're trying to limit him right now to prevent, you know, as far as, as, far as injuries. So it's not that he's the odd man out. You know, he's, you know, we, we were going to probably play him at 24 to 26 so we can kind of get him. Get his legs under him. He gave good energy, you know, good energy, um, you know, defensively. He's, of course, you know, big. I thought when he, when we got up, 
you know, we got up again in the fourth, and we just let him come, you know, right back and miss free throws. You know, but he made a, a big three, to, I think, to put us up four at the time or whatever. So he, he did some positive things, you know, for you know, for a young rookie. Well, I, I think I think that you know when you win, it breeds winning. You know, um, I think the guys were trying to. I think we have some. I'll be honest. I think we have some guys that are really tired, and they're just trying to figure out how they're going to finish the game. You know, in some area, you know, in some ways. But I do think that we had guys that were. Um, you know, they were thinking about what do they have to do to try to be successful and win. I think until you know, we had a chance at the end. You know, we miss a free throw, we get an offensive rebound. Dre has it. He's got a layup or a three-point play, and Williams steals it from him. You know, so I mean, we, with 30 seconds to go, we still had opportunities, um, uh, but we just, you know, we couldn't we couldn't make the play as far as at the end. But that's something you're going to have to overcome until we start winning. You know, that's always going to be kind of in the back of your minds. You know, and how you do that is you do little things. You know, you rebound. You don't give up missed free, th free throw rebounds. You make your free throws. You know, and those are the things I know we didn't do a great job of overall tonight consistently. No, I mean, I think, I don't know. I mean, like I said, when I say shape, you know, I want guys to be able to run with John Wall. You know, a lot of times John's down there by himself. You know, and so what happens is that he feels he's got to attack and and because uh, he sees a lane, and if he had some people, you know, it might make it a little bit easier at times. But um, you know, we're going to get there. You know, the shape thing. I mean, when you're playing just about every day, you don't have a choice. <laughs> you know, you know, you're you're going to get there one way or the other. So, you know, so I think that'll come. We were moving, we were cutting, and what happened when we got up 22 things, I think one, when we got a little bit tired, guys shortcut it a little bit at times. Um, and I think the other thing happened, you know, when you get up big like that, sometimes guys say, well, maybe I'll take a chance now. Maybe it's my turn. Instead of, you know, we played the right way to get up 20. The rest of the way, we played the wrong way. Now we got to harness that. We only had like one timeout left, and we were down five or whatever it was, and so we're in a position, we're in a two-possession game, and at some time you're going to have to be in an open floor opportunity, and there's no better way. When John has it that way, there's no better way for him to try to go. Now what he had is he had Nick Young in the left-hand corner wide open for a three-point shot, you know, which would have been huge, and um, but he tried to you know take it himself. But again, you know, when you've only played two exhibition guys, are still trying to feel out as far as you know playing in game. You know, a lot of the games have been sloppy at times. I was surprised how sharp we were as far as early. Now we got to carry that over. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't. That's tough to answer. I have to. You know, I don't look at that on the floor. You know, during a game, so I really can't answer that. You know, I'm looking at how we're performing as a team, not what individuals are doing at that point. Okay. Thank you.